previously. Hey everybody and welcome back to Terraria. It is currently raining, which is like perfect for my fish. Man, get hydrated since I'm no longer in the ocean. Oh, the sea or the river, or wherever it is I come from. When we last left off, it was approaching night time. I want to get a fresh day so we get a fresh uh, angler quest as well as some planetary bulbs in. So when night time hit, we had a blood moon. I went over to the ocean. Whoa, that's laggy. I uh, went over to the ocean and I have over here a water candle to help spawn rates improve. So I stood there in a blood moon with a water candle and a battle potion, killing enemies to try to get some more pirate maps. I got a grand total of zero. So we still only have this amount of pirate maps left. Kind of sucks. But whatever. Let's get on with today's stuff. And you, zombie fish. Do we have any of those? We do! Perfect. Hello, buddy. Tackle box. Again. I wanted that for... No, actually, I didn't want that for so long. I'm thinking of something else. Whatever, uh, take that. I don't want it. I don't want it. And bait girls over here to this chest. So what are we going to do today? I will check if we have a Plantera. Close by, we don't. Okay, then do we have any over here? Now, I haven't left my console running for hours. I just sort of let it go into the next daytime. Which you can't really tell it's the next daytime because it's freaking raining, which makes the game so dark. We have a Plantera bulb there. Plantera bulb there. Have a look and plant bulb there. Well, we've got three plant bulbs. We will go and we shall fight these uh, as an opening to this. Didn't even see that jungle bat. That was a very stealthy bat. Right, destroy that. Put on this thing. Oh, off camera as well. I was I made some more teal dye because I wanted to see if the Cross necklace looked good with teal dye on it. Ah, uh, it doesn't. Sadly, the cross necklace doesn't look good with any kind of dye. Although, maybe I have a white patch on my chest. Maybe if I make some white dye. Is there a white dye? There must be a white dye. Don't know what it would come from, though. We'll have to go and check it out at some point. I think white dye would still look awkward, wouldn't it? Maybe. Anyway, we've got a wasp gun. We've got some potions. i got the torches on me for once. Let the torches place up when it gets dark. Hey yo. Goodbye. Where did this guy come from? I just saw him drop out of the ceiling. But there is no ceiling. I mean, there is a ceiling. There is no drop gap for him to come from. Alright, let's squidge our way along the ground. Can we do that? I, I, that's... I wanted to mine it rather than teleport, but sure. Sure, that's the way my brain's going to work today. It's fine. Plantera, hello. We've got a little bit of a gap up here, which makes it easier to fight you. I'm happy with that. Look at all these bubbles pouring down. That's all we need is like a big space. That's all we need. So we're going to do this Plantera, then we're going to fight one more Plantera, and then we're going to go home. Unless we get lucky and another one spawns on this little platform thing we have going on here. Ignorant leaf blower. Sure. And then the next one was down below us. I remember. Let's continue squidging our way along. I, I love this outfit. I really do. I really do. So I asked you guys about what uh, things I could potentially do to make it look a bit better. Hey. I got a few responses. I checked them out. I put the... What's it called? It's a slime. Slime King head. Slime King mask. I put that on. And it does squidge and bobble about a lot, which I like. However, I just love how stupid the face of the fish is. Now, the fact that the fish has such a stupid face absolutely makes this for me. Ah, 
forget the solidity and sanctity of my arena. We need to save space. Although saying that, I can actually repair it now. Pantera, please, I'm building a wall. Not that you can beat me in here anyway. I beat you everywhere else. You can't beat me in an area when I've got campfire and a hat lantern to also heal me. And I'm also on the move. Can't catch me. I'm a weed fine snake man. I look like I belong in the Lazard Temple. You know those flying snakes? Flying snake enemies? I look like a grown up version of that. I look like the boss version of one of those. Granddaddy flying snake. Oh my god. It's, it's really coming to the point where it's, it's not even funny. That I'm not getting the axe. It's stupid. I'm calling out as being stupid. Do we have to have a Pantera bulb spawn in on our bridge? No. Oh, wait, there is. Okay, one more. Just the one more. Look at all these guys up there. Don't know what they're planning. Right, I'm going to put my wings on because I need the speed. Right, so if I go along here and then up, I think might be the best way to get to it. Where was it? I can actually get to it even easier if I go this way. If I... Uh, no. Aha. Uh -huh. I was going to complain about it being dark. It's like if I could see where I was going. You know what? I can if I put torches down. I have the ability. Maybe. Let's brighten this place right up. Let's see if we can actually fly out of here because of the weird buggy water physics thing. Uh, we can go up and across. I have not enabled PvP. Stop saying these things. I've not dis- What are you talking about, game? What are you absolutely even talking about? Game's broken. How do I even get through here? I'm gonna mine my way through, maybe? Can I fit through that gap? I can fit through that gap. Cool. Right, torches. <laughs> well, I didn't even know this area existed. Oh, look how many torches I've got here. I still can't see crap all. Alright, that'll do. Let me down. Please. I want to go fight this Plantera. We went through 50 torches. I can still barely see. Perfect, Plantera. I, would, I love it that you came to this spot. Also, I need to do that so I don't die. Thank you. Just remember not to take fall damage. Oh, Plantera, could you be the one? Could you be the one that saves me? You could be. Save me from this peril. No, of course not. Before we leave, are there any on our bridge? Hang on a second. Let me just go and look back at that. Remember when we completely uncorrupted this area? I've just realised that it's all spread back. Because we pushed it all the way to the edge of the darkness where the black is. That's how long I've been doing this for. Oh my god, that is growing back already. And you see it's infected there, look. How did that part get infected if there's nothing infected around it? I don't even know. So we're going to have to do another another run through this area and uncorrupt it. Look at all the fawns in there. Ugh. Annoying. Look at the sun in the sky. Just so grey. Walter, hello. Buy that and that and that and that. And that. Also. That. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
we're gonna go across. We're gonna put the money away. We're gonna put the torches away. We're gonna put away the rest of the keys. And then we're gonna grab ourselves one of these. We're gonna check that everybody's inside. Yes, no one's gonna die here. You still sit still inside? Okay, good. Right, traps are on and activated. We're bringing out some pirates. And we are going to have a pirate invasion. Since at this point there are literally only three things we can do. Planteras, pirates, and fishing. I was trying to think of a way to say it with P. Poaching doesn't really go well. Um, Poisson? Hunting? Is Poisson fish? Or is that chicken? Is it even a word? Oh my god. I might just be making that up. This cloud above us, it's like space invaders. Oh, but I had 10 off if the pirates have arrived. Oh, I was trying to place a better version of space invaders there. Can I? Oh, I can. Put that there. Give me that. Dig that back up. Move that over there. If I get binoculars, look. Let's like we can have a better look at what's going on. It's not perfect. Hey, you know what? We've got a bit more freedom of movement. Now, it has got me wondering now, because this version of the game is so zoomed in, and on like the PC version and uh, PS4 version, Xbox One version, you can zoom out. How good are the binoculars on that version? Does it give you more range, technically? Or would it give you less range? I'm actually interested in that. Pirate Captain. Burning slowly to death and is in my death pit where he's going to... It's a shame I can't see down into my death pit properly. Because he's struggling down there. Everyone else dies instantly. Pirate Captain gets to live. Look at all these other guys. Look, you see chunks instantly fly up as they die. Pirate Captain on the other hand, though. He's still in there. He's still going. I hate... Yeah, I always say how I hate how dark this game is. And that's true. But I hate how the game loves to give you things that make it even darker. Like rain makes the game so dark. Solar eclipses make the game darker than night. I wish it was like a... I don't even know what I would call it. Like a contraption that could control time. So as soon as it approaches night time, you just rewind time backwards to day. Or maybe even just make it so like in Minecraft you now you can sleep in a bed so you can skip the night times. Having the game be so dark just... It annoys you. I don't want to go outside and do stuff because it's ri it makes it so difficult for you guys to see what's going on if it's just darkness outside. So I generally just like come back here and do stuff home because at least it's lit up and you can see what I'm doing. Or I'll spend my time underground fighting planteras and stuff because you know, I have torches in the ground. Ironically it's brighter underground than it is uh, on the surface. Are we done? Yeah, just the pirate captain left. So I'll turn that off. I mean, it's daytime still. You wouldn't think it, would you? Look at that pirate captain. And he's gone. So doing this for the point gun, for the coin gun, which we've been told is in the game, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll see. Hello, fish friend. It's a 1 in 8,000 drop chance, but luckily, it's only a 1 in 2,000 drop chance from a pirate captain. See, so yeah, I worked out... I say I worked out. I, I gave, like, a rough estimate of how many pirate invasions we should have to go through. I said it's like... 
60 or so, didn't I? And I said because we've done some already, odds are... I don't care all that stuff. Odds are we should be on form for getting on. You know what? Let's do another one. Why not? Let's turn the traps back on as well. Is everybody inside? I'm not going to kill you on me. <gasps> take that. Absolutely take that. You're safe. Good. Let's go put a worm. I didn't mean to do that. I took out all 104 worms. Oh yeah, I've got a couple of things to say. That was it. Right, so I was testing out quick stacking. You know, from the thing in the menu. And they must have changed it in the last patch because it doesn't do what it used to do. And it does what you guys told me it does now and it puts things away. And you now I mentioned it used to not do that. And what it would do is put away stuff like my horse and blade would go away and the jewel hook and stuff would go away. It doesn't do that anymore, I don't think. So if I stand like here... And tell it to put stuff away. It should only put away the gel. But is there room? Yeah, and there's room in those chests. It shouldn't put away my sword and stuff. Yeah, so I swear down they fixed that because it didn't used to be like that. I'm positive I have footage of me using quick stack after you guys told me it was a thing. And then having to go through and find my equipment again. I'm positive that that's what happened. But yeah, I can start quick stacking things away a lot quicker. Another thing one of you guys pointed out, or a couple of you guys pointed out actually, is I broke the 100 platinum coin thing. Didn't know that was uh, even a thing. I thought once it hit uh, 99, it would force a brand new stack. But apparently it's got to 999, whereas it was only got to 100. Because once it hits 100, it goes to the next tier of coin up. So that's interesting, 102 platinum coins. Not that it really does anything for me. What do we spend money on? Reforging random crap. Don't really buy anything. If anything, all we do is sell. Where are all these pirates? They are all over here. Stop taking so long. Ah, they're spawning just outside there. Look where I can't get to them. I wonder if I have any more flame traps. If I could install flame traps at the wall here, firing out, that would be really cool. It gives me absolutely no real benefit, but I think it would be cool. 15, I could do it. Oh no, hiccups please. I could definitely do it and I might do that. Maybe I'll do it on this episode, who knows? Who knows, indeed. Alright, come on, pirates. Hurry up and get your invasion over. Cool. Like, almost exactly as I said it. So we should be able to go over here. Help these pirates to die. Go back. Turn off the traps. That pirate invasion seemed to go a lot quicker. Like, seriously, a lot quicker than, was, than the last one. So this is my different positioning of where I was stood. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, what do we get? We got a lucky coin, which is apparently super rare, and we keep getting them. And we got some gold furniture, which we can slap away in here. Like that. And then I'm actually going to take a quick trip to Walter. Hello. Yeah, bye. That. And that. And that. And that. Jeez, bud. Look at this goldfish in my... Look at my swamp then. In my fountain. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab... Red wrench. Is it red that I want? It looks like it is. Yes. And that branch is off there like that. I need to be careful of those there. I could shift that back a bit and slap some 
flame things in here. Potentially even replace this one with a flame fring. Fring. Flame thing. Please. Guys. Alright, let's do this. It's been a while since I've done some wiring on camera. So it's going to be... Somewhat interesting at least. Go down here. Grab... Go in the same chest I was just in and grab some flame traps. And... Wires. Perfect. Get out of here, you. So what I want to do is I want to break my teleporters. By doing this. And then... Bring out my Sharknado to protect me. Oh, they get stuck. Oh well. So bring that down. And across. And up. And then down. That should work. Right, I'm just going to double check that my teleporters still work. I have so many wires. It's a ridiculous amount of wires. Okay, they work. That's all I needed to know. So now what I want to do is I want to put some flame traps in here. What? Now do I want them here? Or do I want to? I want to, I think I want to inset them. No, because uh, that'd be awkward. I'll just have them on the edges. So. Here, because they do do a free block. It's not just the thing they're on, it's like one above and one below. I can't see because of all the writing. There, there. There. And there. Then you need to face the correct way, fill these in. Like that. Oh, I know it looks ugly, don't worry, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna make it look beautiful. Then I wanted, if you can give me two seconds, to wire this up to red. And where did the red end? So red ended here, and that's super awkward because we've got that there, that there, that there. So what I'm gonna have to do is continue this up over the tree. Then bring it in. And across like that. No, I don't have to do that. Why am I being so stupid? I could just bring it across like this because that's not going to connect to those. Give me that back. Give me that back. So I can't have it any lower than this, because if it's there, it's going to connect to that. I can't have it here coming across, because it's going to connect to this. So yeah, we don't need that. I don't know why I even assumed it would be the stupidly long way around. And then we connect these up. Then we connect that up. Turns out we didn't need to push this one back after all, but it's fine. So this should work, and it shouldn't interfere with anything. So if we just return... Turn on the traps. We should have a wall of flame. Yeah, look at that. I like it. So, right, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go back. It is 3.20 on. We've got time for one more pirate invasion. So let's bring that out. We'll see how quick that works. I don't know what that put away. We'll put away these things. 
this. We'll put wire in here. We've actually used up the bonus wire we had. Alright, cool. We put that stuff away. We choose the cat quick stack. Did I hit 99 already? I did. Wow. Bonus, le oh, bonus lenses in there are full as well. Oh, the pirates are here. Right, I do need to get up then so they don't spawn underground. And I'm sure to chill out around here somewhere. Because pirates now, even if they spawn on the outside of the area, they'll get roasty toasted. But I need to make myself, I think, a little bit higher up at the moment because they're spawning underground. Once they've stopped spawning underground, then we should be good. Hey, it's daytime! It's daytime. We can watch the pirate massacre as soon as I get rid of my Sharknado. Blech. Pirate captain. We'll help his death along a little bit. Hey, look, he dropped a discount card, which is apparently also super rare, but I keep getting them. I've had like a dozen of those now. Hello. <laughs> You silly boys. Silly boys. Yeah, I really wish my flamethrower on the, the bottom still reached all the way. Yeah, I should probably install one up there as well. Alright, let's do that while I'm here. It's just a little bit annoying to me that, you know, the flame traps got nerfed. Green. Oh, I remember why. Okay, that's fine. And then we want to grab ourselves some wire. Because I forgot to bring wire. And then this one's going to be out of sync right now, but it will... Oh wait, I think they synced up. Perfect. So it's now got a full flamethrower at the top. Put that stuff away. Put that away. Put nothing else away. I don't have space in my chest, it would seem. Right, now I can pick stuff up. Oh, so I need to turn off my traps. Before I forget, that would be... A wise thing to do. Right, give me the loot. Lovely. I don't suspect we'll have many more over here now. Yeah, just a little bit. But over this side should be the rest of the stuff that we're missing. And maybe even just on here. Wow, there's flames actually kill stuff on a long radius. Because remember, it might not just kill them outright, but they might bend to death as they try to escape. Alright, that's everything put away that could possibly be put away. Why is it not putting away that? Oh, it's because it's on the top. It's okay, it's just me being silly. Is it? Yeah. Arrows can go in bin. Romeo the Travelling Merchant. I will talk to you in a second. Walter, first of all, take that discount card. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? There you are. Got that. Walter, he is all yours. I don't care. Okay, so you, Ivan. Dead fish. Catch one in the jungle. Do we have a jungle, Walter? Is that jungle? I think it might be. Sweet, let's go catch that. 
Is this a little bit morbid having a, a weird fish monster? Cash, cash, catch, fish. Doesn't seem right to me somehow. Where is my pumpkin sword? Did I sell my pumpkin sword? Did I sell my horseman's blade? I'm going to be very annoyed if I look back at this footage and it turns out I've sold my horseman's blade. Walter, always. Yep, that's fine, Walter. <laughs> I'm glad I checked his inventory out while I had the chance and saw that he had nothing to offer me. Where the hell is my horseman's blade? I think I sold my favourite weapon in the game. I think I sold my favourite weapon in the game. Does that suck? Uh, not as much as you would think. Let's see if we go down here. Go over here. Fly over here. Go into here. Fly right across this spot and open this chest here. We have another one. So I can grab that out and I can reforge it and stuff later on. For now, though, let's go over to the jungle. I think this... Yeah, the quickest way is like this. Look at these mush... Oh. I like those mushrooms. God, it's very terrifying seeing this weird creature coming at you out of the dark. Blech. Right, this is where I want to do my fishing. This should be... Fine. I mean, I'm already being attacked by derplings, so that says something, considering I'm trying to catch a derp fish. Which we just did, we throw it away, we tried to catch one more. And then we're going to go home, turn in the quest, fingers crossed, hotline fishing rod. That means we technically don't have to do any fishing ever again. Yeah, that'll do whatever, I don't even care. Wait, another travelling merchant has arrived. The last one. Died me a moment ago and another one has showed up. I wonder if I'll have time to get to him before Walter does. I swear this guy has like multiple lives. I don't think it's different ones. I think he just comes back and says he's got a different name than last time. Where is he? Where is he? What are you doing over... Uh, I guess it makes sense. He doesn't want to be near Walter. Walter did just literally kill him after all. I have to tell you though, buddy. You're, you're not safe. Walter will hunt you down. He knows how to work these teleports. I accidentally bought some sake. That's okay. Right, so I got some dynasty wood. That's not okay. I'll buy a bunch of sake. Tell you what, if you can live long enough, I will come and buy more. I promise. I need some. Oops. Oh, it stops you after you buy fate because it does it in stacks. That's really annoying. That'll do. Right, I'll put away all this sake at some point. It's going to go over into my underwater... Underwater? My restaurant. Why underwater came into my head, I have no idea. I'm going to put it into my restaurant. And also at the arena. Because I had that sake set up, didn't I? Hello, Walter. You can go use my teleporter if you want. We got the mermaid outfit again. Go away, please. I was so excited to get it last time. I just throw it in my face as though it's nothing. 
Well, at least we can go put it in cloud storage, I guess. We're not going to do that right now. I'm extending the episode out a little bit because I've got stuff to do. And the thing I want to do is grab this. And then grab... Those beds are chasing each other. This... Yeah, grill is what I wanted. That's fine. And then I want to grab... Probably this. I, I guess we'll see. And then we can paint these. Is that a good colour? I don't know. Let me go get some other colours and we can check. Maybe sky blue. Let's see which one of these we prefer. Hmm. Well, I think I prefer the darker one. I actually don't know on that. I don't know. Leave a comment, let me know what colour should I paint those. Also. <laughs> oh, trapped in the wall. Lovely. That guy can stay there forever. Forever and ever and ever. Put away the paintbrush and then... That's not where it is. And then we're at a very long episode. I didn't realize how long I've been recording for. So, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Tune in tomorrow where we will do some more fishing. We'll do some more planteras. We'll do some more pirate waves. I'll try to get some more pirate maps. I don't know if I can though because it's seemingly not wanting to drop. Uh, I'll sort out my inventory and stuff as well. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.